Hi, this is Krasm, and I am going to show you how to fix some Edifer Bluetooth headphones. The model for this one is W830BT. So what's ended up happening is this has come out. Behind here is a plastic piece that has cracked. So to get to that, there's two ways of doing it. One way is going to be peel off this plastic piece right here. There's two, uh, right here is the separation. You kind of jimmy it apart by using a thin flathead screwdriver or a guitar pick. I am going to use the thin flathead screwdriver. I get that off. Then there's four Phillips. It's gonna be a Phillips one for these screws. Now you do not actually have to go this way. I find that it is slightly easier and gives you a little bit more space if you do it this way though. So those four screws should be out of the way. Then pry up again gently with some type of spudger because there is a microphone wire and speaker wires uh, or maybe just speaker wires on this side. Okay, so this side does not have battery, the other side does. If you want to give yourself a whole lot of room to work with, you can actually unsolder this. I'm not going to do that, but by removing this piece, you take off the hold downs for these detents, and you're able to push this out. Get that. Also able to this needs a little bit of a squeeze and some gentle persuasion to get this out. Once you get it kind of sort of out, it should be a little bit easier to move it, but you might need a little bit more squeezing. So now, you should be able to get this off. I have a little bit more room to work on this plastic piece right here. There are two little areas right here that go into, it's a press fit and it's a very, very firmly press fit. So if you're trying to pry this out, you might actually break these pieces. Uh, so I'm not gonna try prying them out right now. This is a 1.5 millimeter hex. Uh, there's no Loctite, no glue. So you just unscrew these screws. Again, use a very thin blade flat blade screwdriver in order to pry this up. I'm gonna move this back on top of here so I don't wreck my wires. Cause I could solder them back in place, but there's no point in doing that if I don't have to. Pry your plastic housing off. Yeah. 
There we go. Be careful. Like I said, right down here, you can lift them straight out, but when I did it, I kind of broke it. So uh, I'm trying to avoid doing that again, but let's see if I could have more success this time. Because right here is the actual catch. So maybe if I pry right near the earpiece, I can get it out. Yes, I'm just going to break it. So hopefully you can get a pretty good view of what I have done. I've split the plastic. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to line up this earpiece again right here. Because it has a range of movement. And you kind of want to slide it back in the hole. Once it's back in the hole, like that, you want to take a 3 16 E clip with a pair of pliers. Lay it there. Have it fall into place. Now that that's in place, move your wire. I am gonna hot glue that. Now you don't have to hot glue it. You can use super glue, or you can just use this piece to hold it in place. But I'm gonna hot glue it for a slightly more Permanent fix. Shove that on there. Wiggle it back and forth. Get my screws. Now that's there. Keep it a little tight. Get a little bit tighter. Now to slide this all back together, I'm going to get my screws out of the way. Make sure I have all four so one of them is not stuck to a speaker magnet. Tried using a circlip. I don't, it didn't work very well. I imagine it could. That was my initial thought, but the E clip worked better. So now, get this around front, pull this down. And out. Make sure the wires are still connected. They are. This just goes back in place on this side because it just kind of pops in. Once you line up the hole with the detent. We 
we go. The other side takes a little bit more finessing. Line up your wire. Ah, well, that broke, but that'll be okay, because once it is held in place by a detent, only person that's going to know is going to be you and me. There we go. Okay, so... The side, the L or R is going to be on top. You push these in place. The screws go here, not here. Pop the cover back on. Only lines up. It might line up both ways. I don't know. But there we go. That side's fixed. This side's fixed. So don't go ham, but it'll fix it. The real true fix would be replacing this with the factory piece or a 3D printed piece. So there you go. Good luck. Hopefully that fixes your headphones and go out there and get something fixed.